do today? We're gonna learn uh -huh. and play okay. Sing a song and pray That's right. God really loves us God really, really cares About you, me, our families That's right God's always right Have you ever been to a playground? Anything is possible there! Is that a slide over there? Or the tallest ski slopes in the whole world? Is that a sand pit over there? Or the very center of the world's hottest desert? See? Anything is possible! Today, we are playing a game called Wiffle Ball. It's just like baseball, but you play it with a softer ball that can fly all sorts of crazy ways. You can make it twist, or dive, or even float! I love to pitch when we're playing wiffle ball. That means throw to the person who's batting. Batting means trying, and I mean trying to hit my pitch with a wiffle ball bat. Now in a baseball game, they have something called an umpire. Basically, they're in charge and make sure everyone is playing by the rules. When the pitcher throws the ball, the person holding the bat has to try to hit it. If they miss it, the umpire says, Strike! And if the batter gets three strikes, they're out of here. But sometimes it's the pitcher that makes a mistake. If they throw the ball the wrong way, the umpire says, ball, which means the batter doesn't get a strike. Four balls and the batter gets to walk to first for free. <laughs> My friend Grace came to play with us on the playground today. She's the umpire calling balls and strikes. We have to trust her to tell us the truth. Okay, okay, here I go. I'm gonna pitch it, and... Ugh! All right! Okay, here I go again, and... Ugh! Woohoo! Two strikes! That means if I get one more strike, the batter is out and our team wins! All I have to do is throw it right in the right place. I need to make sure the batter can't hit it. Here I go. And... Ugh! Um... Grace called it a ball. But I think it was a strike. I know that Grace is the umpire today. And I need to trust her to tell the truth. But I feel like it was a strike. Hmm... What should I do, friends? Maybe your Bible story for today will help. It's time for today's Bible story. It comes from the book of 1 Samuel chapter 3. Samuel was growing up and serving God by helping Eli, the priest in charge of the temple, with whatever he needed. God had not yet spoken to Samuel, but that was about to change. One night, God called out to Samuel. God said his name, but Samuel didn't know God's voice yet. He thought Eli was calling him. So he ran to Eli and said, here I am. You called me? But Eli said, I didn't call you. Go back and lie down. Then God called out to Samuel again. And Samuel went to Eli again. Eli told Samuel to go back and lie down. He didn't call him. Then God called out to Samuel again. Samuel went to Eli again and said the same thing. But Eli realized that God was calling Samuel. So Eli told Samuel to say, Speak, God. I'm listening, if he was called again. So God called Samuel, Samuel. And Samuel said what Eli told him to say. Speak, I'm listening. And God began to give Samuel a message. God said that Eli's family was not listening to God. They had even talked badly about God. Eli did not try to stop them. So some not so great things were about to happen to them. In the morning, Samuel was afraid to tell Eli what God said, but Eli said it was best to share what God told him no matter what. So Samuel told Eli everything God said. Eli knew God was right and accepted what God said. And all that God said happened. God continued to give Samuel messages and the messages were always true. God speaks to me and you too. God can speak through the Bible. God can speak to us when we are praying. 
or even when we're in the middle of doing something. Whenever and however God talks to us, we can know that. God tells me what is true. That story was really helpful. It must have been hard for Samuel to tell the truth, but he had to because God always tells us the truth. I know that the Bible tells us God's words, and the Bible says we should not lie. That's what is true. And another thing that's true is that Grace is the umpire out here on the playground today. I know my friend Grace is, well, my friend. She thought that last pitch was a ball. It's her job as the umpire to tell me what's true. I might not like it because I thought it was a strike, but I have to go with what's true. God tells us what's true, and sometimes the true thing might not be easy to hear. But we follow because we trust God loves us and wants what's best for us. How cool is that? God loves us and wants the best for us. That makes me feel like I can float. Oh, oh, that's going to be my next pitch. I'm going to make this waffle ball float. Ah! Good hit, Sam. You really got a hold of that one. Great job. I'll get you next time. <laughs> Friends, it can sometimes be hard to say or follow what is true, but just remember Samuel and Wiffle Ball. And remember that... God tells me what is true. Thanks for learning and growing with me, friends. Peace out.